Welcome back to some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. This is Kabusha, and today we're going to try to save the Bismarck, which I have to rename here. Now, this is my second attempt at recording this. Uh, when I launched it, it had reset the starting ships, so I had way too many support vessels, and then I went to restart, changed it, because this is a custom battle, it wiped out my ship, so I had to rebuild it from scratch again. So, this... This is the second attempt. I haven't actually done the mission. It's just a matter of just trying to get it about right. So anyway, this is my attempt at the Bismarck. And fairly faithful uh, to the best of my ability. You have the 15-inch guns. Uh, so these are twin turrets. Historically reading, she had about a three rounds per minute rate of fire. Stupid fast guns. But... Uh, I couldn't quite hit that here with two powder auto loading and twin turrets you can only get about two and a half rounds per minute uh, shell weight was about 800 kilograms again I couldn't quite nail it I ended up with an 891 um, this is kind of what it is even with going light shells uh, I was about able to get the ammunition correct though and she, she had fairly large ammunition stores and would have been about 250 per turret so we got 270 so it's it's about right. Um, armor scheme. I went with a modulus 12.6 inch main belt just because th they still haven't updated the game yet. So, you know, alpha and delta turrets are uh, open. They're only protected by the extended belt and very vulnerable. So I just go for a modulus main belt. I did do the ex the actual deck, a 3.9, 4.7. But I was reading where apparently her entire main deck was not really homogenous. The actual true extended portions would have been two inches. But they kind of varied over the actual armored citadel. So I went, okay, well, we'll try with something like this. 14 inch turrets and conning tower, four inches on the secondaries. It's actually 3.93, but whatever. And a 5.1 inch turret top. Uh, secondary armament is pretty much what you'd expect. Six guns per side of six inches, it would be 5.9, but, you know, this is the closest we have. And a bunch of four-inch dual-purpose guns, and even a few two-inchers. I managed to get the correct number there, too, so, as far as I know. I know the turpits had a slightly different arrangement, but it's an attempt at the Bismarck. Engines. We have geared turbines. I guess she had triple geared turbines, what I was reading. Uh, running on oil fuel uh, boilers. Again, no real information there. I went with force draft, and I have plenty of engine efficiency, so and plenty of tonnage, so whatever. Um, turbo electric auxiliary engines. Uh, at least what I read, she had both diesel and uh, turbo electric uh, uh, generators on board for uh, electrical power. So, okay. Uh, I went with no modification of the shaft, though. Uh, again, this is her final battle. She went in with uh, battle damage to her rudder. She is actually basically unable to steer properly. Uh, I'm not going to go that far of never turning the ship, but I figured I'd at least give myself the most basic shaft poss possible to make it harder to turn. You know, make it more of a clumsy vessel. Uh, double hole bottom. Uh, nothing really about her torpedo protection. She did take a number of torpedo hits during the course of the battle before she finally sank. Um, so I just went, okay, we'll go torpedo two as just a feel. Um, you know, if anybody has something more correct, I'm certainly willing to interest. We're interested, but I, I just don't know. Uh, barbets again, just, okay, standard barbets. I want a Krupp 3 armor. Uh, surprisingly, some difficulty finding out what armor, but it would have been improvement some ways, maybe over the Sharn Horse, so I went with Krupp 3. Uh, reinforced bulkheads. And a floating 2 for the basic water pumping. And of course, Turtleback armor scheme. So I believe that's the gist of it. Oh, lastly, a coincidence rangefinder. So, yeah. Um, I believe that's the gist of it. I don't think I forgot anything in the rebuild of this ship. I have to say, it does look quite nice in this game. Uh, I really like the direction they're going with how they're modeling the ships and getting the, the look and feel. It's turning out quite nice. So, let's see if we can uh, keep the ship alive. We don't have the great balancing factor of, you know, balanced lances, torpedoes, like her sister ship would. And this is quite a few ships to deal with. And of course, the AI just, this is a skirmish battle. It's going to design whatever it designs. So, it's... This could be pretty bad. But, hey, you know, it's fun. I was trying to think of something interesting to do. And 
this seemed like the most fun to me. Alright, let's go five times speed here. Get in there a little bit closer. Alright. So we are already taking some shots. Uh, let me just adjust the volume there so slightly here. So we're taking shots from the northeast. We'll go ahead and angle in. So even with our big old spotting tires, we're definitely having some difficulty. And our turrets have not yet started. Oh, we've already taken a mid-deck penetration. See, this is where it's nice having smaller ships to screen for you because they will help spot, even though we have fantastic uh, fore and aft uh, masts. It's still kind of tricky to spot. Okay, the only a 13-inch hit. Okay, well, that's, that's positive for us. That's not that large of a caliber shell. It is two battleships, so we'll see. All right. Guns out for ships. So, 369, 12 guns on that with a super firing rear secondary. Interesting, kind of cool, but just small ones. Casemate guns. So, just definitely a dreadnought. This one, same design. Okay, so we've got a pair of twins from the British. All right. Let's see how this shakes out. Um, our speed is down just a tiny bit. Have we actually lost? We have lost a little bit of maximum speed. No, we still have 30. I'm misreading that. She just hasn't quite gotten back up to full speed from her maneuvering. We'll see if she does. Ideally, we'll... Uh, okay, only the front guns. They are locked. We'll see if the rear turrets uh, engage. If not, we might be a little over-angled. Hey, we got some hits already. On something. And our secondaries are already opening up. That's kind of worrisome. Okay, looks like everything shifted over to here. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, I'm just gonna double click up here. So let's keep main guns. Shift alt right, correct? Yes, so we'll keep the main guns on that ship. I believe I've hit this one, actually. So, yeah, shift all, throw the mains back on that. Heavy cruisers. Oh, those look like battle cruisers. Those do not look like heavy cruisers. Gorgeous looking ship, though. Britain, you get a prop for that one. Although, uh, she's kind of drowning without a bow weight. Still a very nice ship. I love it. That's gorgeous. I have to do the uh, heavy cruiser design here soon. Maybe try to rebuild the Alaska class. Whether or not build a battle cruiser or a uh, <laughs> super heavy cruiser. That's always the debate about those ships. <laughs> and this would be their destroyer. So, yes, uh, alt right click correct. I'm just having to read here. Yes, alt right click for secondaries. Leave the secondaries focused there. And we'll maintain range. Me. We're taking some far hits, apparently. 13 inch, 13 inch, mid deck. We're taking very light penetrations. What's our range to target? 18.6 kilometers. So we have a, a lot of deck penetration. That's our current range. So about 16 inches of effective deck penetration. So plunging fire is going to be pretty good. They will, may have a better chance to hit, though. Depends on their range finders, whatever technology they have. Again, we're taking more hits. They definitely have the volume of fire advantage. Those things are shooting at us. Uh, let's say alt right click on that ship. Let's see if we can get these secondaries talking. I may have wanted to actually pull that secondary out a little bit for a better field of fire as opposed to just taking the default mount, but oh well. Turn back in just a tiny bit. Better damage and flooding. Interesting. Flooding damage, huh? Uh, doesn't seem to be taken down much. Uh, we're getting it identified though. 
I mean, we do have the larger guns for the range duel, but damage potential with the light shells, especially if they're running normals or heavies, it could actually be pretty fair. And again, they have the uh, broadside advantage. They are getting hits. Secondaries are trying. I'm going to angle back in just a little bit to see if I can get that last uh, secondary gun onto target. They're getting some good hits, though. Slowly uh, wrecking that uh, light cruiser, I believe. Could be a destroyer. Oh, yeah, that's a destroyer. Whoa. Okay. 12 guns, though. Looks like probably 4-inch. Might be 3s. 8... Nine torpedoes total. <laughs> and a bounce. I'm guessing that was a four inch shell. <laughs> It'd be nice if we can uh, eventually choose, say, uh, for secondaries to have them firing high explosive, you know. Have the main guns firing their AP. That'd be quite nice. Um, we still have them spotted. Keeping us at range. Good, good rate of fire. And our maximum speed has slowed to 29 knots from damage. Okay. So I'm sure theirs has as well. We're still identifying the ship. Warship's rudder damage. 13 inch hit. Mid deck over pin. So another pin just straight through. Mid deck actual pin. 14 damage. Yeah, they're getting some damage, that's for sure. That actually entered. And our secondaries are not doing much right now. Probably very, yeah, very little chance to hit. Angle back in just a tiny bit. We may want to go ahead to slow down full speed and improve our chance to accuracy. We're down to 6.7. While we were around 8 or 10, it wasn't too bad, but at this point, we're definitely starting to lose some accuracy. Uh, the main guns actually switched over to the destroyers. Let's get get them back on that the other battleship. Yeah, those destroyers are doing a pretty good job screening us out. Here, let's go do some broadside sailing for just a little while here. And let's go and target that ship with our secondaries. See if we have any better chance. Doesn't look like it. It's the range. Twelve and a half kilometers. Yeah, so that's that's beyond maximum range for us. Uh, do we know anything more about this destroyers yet? They are almost out of torpedoes in their stern. They have been sending them out. Range. 22 kilometers? Whoa! Those things are nuts! Okay, yeah, that's that's uh, that's no bueno. Very, very no good. And they just torpedoed again. Alright. Tell you what, if you're going to do that, we're just going to turn off. We're just gonna do an about face. If you wanna do that, you can. We're just, just gonna ignore you. And at this point, we've lost sight entirely. Um, we're gonna turn our main guns off for now. So we can get a good engagement again. We're far enough away that we're no longer really firing all that well. Let's turn away. Turn, 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 turn. She is a bit of a sluggish boat. That's for sure. To be expected, really. 3.6. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh, we're going to eat one. Oh, so much for my fancy, dancy uh, maneuvering. We actually maneuvered right back into a torpedo. And both engines damaged. Well, that sucks. That's, that's bad. So one of those guys fired off a torpedo at a really weird angle, and they got lucky. And we are taking hits. I think we have to go in. This looks like it may end up a historical Bismarck. Let's go save. And we're just getting rained down. We're just being outspotted at this point. <laughs> And now we can't, couldn't run uh, with how much slower we are. Now they're going to have a way easier time beating us up. 
Yeah, I'd say uh, this one's probably already over, functionally. That was a pretty good hit. And unless they repair the damaged engines, we're going to be very slow for a while. I mean, that was a heck of a torpedo hit. I mean, it knocked out both engines hard. Um, we're getting some decent damage. Looks like damage is getting repaired. We'll see if we can regain some speed. Mid-deck pin. Yeah, those battleships are starting. Back on that. AP. Yeah, just so many escorts. They are almost out of torpedoes at least. That's something. Here's another torpedo spread. Oh, ho, ho, we got lucky. All right, let's go in. We got real lucky on that one. Slow down two times speed. Yeah, I, I don't see a surviving so. Unless they are out of torpedoes yet. No, they still have a lot of torpedoes. We are not wrecking them nearly fast enough. Yeah, they're very uneven in how many of they launch. That one's still holding on to all of its torpedoes. Tell you what. Target that one. It's got the most torpedoes. Damage the main funnel. Yep, more torpedoes. About what you'd expect. The vanity is sinking. Very good. Sink the other one, please. to sink. We've all recently torpedoed. Looks like that's that stern torpedo he's getting ready. We are getting wrecked. So much structure damage. Oh, go back to normal. Oops, that was my mistake. Yeah, these main guns are firing. Try to try to slow down the barrage from those uh, battleships, but getting some hits again. There's those torpedoes. Okay, now we go back in again. Historical Bismarck, maybe? Taking a lot of damage. Uh, some return fire on that ship. Not much. How about the hoe? Oh, more heavily armored, slower, heavier ship, maximum bulkheads. Whew. And what's, let me see here, shell weight. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. They have a heavier shell caliber than me. Um, a little velocity I can't quite read. Can I get, there you go, damage, oh, uh, two powder, okay. Two rounds per minute. So we have the we have a fire advantage, but yeah, they actually have more potential damage than I do on their uh, shell hits. That's scary. Okay, the uh, secondaries are sure doing their thing. That was one thing she was designed for, was having a pretty heavy secondary barrage to deal with destroyers and the like. This is way more danger close than I would like, but it's just kind of the nature of the beast right this moment. Alright, let's turn back out. Secretary's doing good. Okay, that's hopefully all the torpedoes going that way, so we shall see. That one's out. What about you? You do have some torpedoes, but they're underwater. Now, for that one's position, she did torpedo, so we probably expect some torpedoes coming through here, maybe. We'll see. Oh, the ship's getting wrecked. She's so slow. Oh, 
look at that battle damage. He's trying. Imagine we're even taking some, uh, eh, actually no real negatives for our own damage yet, surprisingly. I mean, our superstructure is green, but our main structure is wrecked. I'm going to an angle out here, again, to increase the effectiveness of armor, hopefully. And it's mostly all about trying to trick the torpedoes. Mm, that thing is almost dead. Good. What about you? You seem close. Uh, this, they all might be locked onto that. That's fine. I'll let you do your thing. Ammo detonation! Ooh, we didn't take too much from it though, so it must have been from one of the secondary batteries perhaps. Secondary still knocked out. No, uh, it might still be firing. All the fire. We're getting some damage on the hoe. Seven inch secondaries. Nice. Seven inch casemates, actually. Wow. 16% chance to hit against my 20. I have a small, small hit advantage, but they have the broadside. Okay, let's turn all the way around this way. Damage okay, to the funnel. We're bouncing. I mean, we have respectable armor, but it's not not the same caliber of those ships. I mean, they outton us significantly. 50.6. It might just be on the uh, turret, so let's say if we do this. And let's see what we get. Well, we can pin most of her pretty significant. Pretty, yeah, it looks like the main belt is probably armored just as heavily as the... Uh, turrets. They're both yellow, so it might be matching. We're beating that ship down, but we are getting beaten down faster. Yeah, we've, we're down another 10%. Uh, those destroyers have not torpedoed lately. That light cruiser has torpedoed. Yep. Alright, you're 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 gonna get the love now with the secondaries. You wanna do that stuff. Turrets are whipping back around here. Stay engaged. Yep, there's all those torpedoes. This is why I turned. But yeah, that was, boy, that was such a fluke torpedo to take that one early on. Oh, that really set the battle right there. We've done good dodging since then, but that was a heck of a fluke. One moon shot, very Bismarck. <laughs> oh well, uh, speed is slowed, which is gonna, of course, make it even easier for them to hit us. They're going so slow. And it looks like even though they're damaged, yeah, they're never getting repaired. And we have flooding in those locations that is in the water getting pumped out. She's still trying. She's listing. a little harder to pin. Hmm. Got a fire. Oh yeah. We're getting beaten down. He hasn't computed out this yet. I think he's been very stubborn about you know dying. Oh, pretty tough. Here, go 
those secondaries on the destroyer. We more easily wreck it. Uh, getting good bounces. But yeah, the hail of fire is just just taking us down. beating her. Oh good, she's lost some accuracy, but she's up to 16%. We're at 26, so I guess that's something. <laughs> We're slamming out those shells. We got a great chance to hit, but yeah. We're about to get torpedoed to head and back. Yep, there they are. It's turn. Hard to starboard. Yeah, so those torpedoes are going to be on that course. The other one torpedo yet? Probably. No, not yet. Okay. Give you some torch. Oh, hello. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I was hoping that it was further along before it torpedoed, but... Yeah, we're gonna eat one, maybe two. Oh, even that one. Oh, interesting, because that one, it was there and it exploded, so the hitbox is actually slightly larger than the ship. But, yeah, we're going down. Oh, wait, maybe not. Maybe not just yet. She's holding on. Wait, we're... I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Structure's disappearing. Oh, there she goes. The flotation's crumbling. Flooding tip to stern. <laughs> oh, oh, yep. Yeah, yeah. And there it is. <laughs> All right. Well, good games, guys. Good games. That was fun. <laughs> Retrying. Uh, yes, we'll go back to the uh, dry dock here. Oh, no, you're just fine. You go back. Go back where you were. All of you. Just. Oh. That's not really annoying. Oh well, whatever. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I actually had a lot of fun with this one. That's my biggest thing is trying to find something I'm going to have fun with and uh, try to share it with you guys. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And we might try this again. Although, what I'm thinking, I might do my own Bismarck then for the next one. If I were designing the Bismarck within this same tonnage and within the same technology, what ship will I build? So I'm thinking that's what's going to be the next one. So uh, thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed. See ya.